The heads of anti-corruption agencies and institutions in the Commonwealth are convening in Accra to discuss and learn best practices for combating corruption. Head of Public Sector Governance at the Commonwealth Secretariat, Dr. Roger Opong, emphasized the need for strengthening anti-corruption agencies across different countries to combat corruption. We bring all this, the best, the worst and the ugly together to share experience so that those who are doing better will show those who are doing the worst things. The fact of the matter is that strengthen your institutions and corruption will go down. Executive Director of the Economic and Organized Crime Office, Iyoku, COP Mamiya Tiwa Adudankwa, is of the view that corruption conferences would empower anti-corruption agencies. You look at Mauritius, you look at Seychelles, you look at Luanda. What is it that they've been doing? And they are all here. We are going to share experiences, share our challenges and share our successes too. Um, when you talk about um, Ghana being stagnant, you realize that it is a corruption perception in this. Some of them are here to give a lecture on what are the things that they use as a matter of coming out with some of these things. What is it that we are not doing or what is it that they are also not capturing? Assistant Secretary General of the Commonwealth, Professor Louise Francesi, emphasized the detrimental impacts of corruption on development and urged leaders to commit to combating it. The global cost of corruption is $3.6 trillion a year in the world. And of course, you can never explain how could 40% of the minerals of the world be in Africa and so much potential, so much energy and so many young people. And then we are practically negligible when it comes to the big economy in the world and GDP and, and income. And development. Where are the dreams of those great founders of Africa? The Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Godfrey Yabu Adami, who represented the President, stated that government has implemented measures to combat corruption in the country. Operating with a clear understanding that the haven for economic crimes is an atmosphere conducive to its consumment and that access to information remains a vital tool in the elimination of economic crimes. The government of President Sanaa Danko Ekufuado in 2019 spearheaded the passage of the Right to Information Act 2019 at 989. The 14th Commonwealth Regional Conference in Accra is set to last for six days.